Let us now discuss the 8th model from time and distance where we are supposed to solve questions related to two trains either moving in opposite direction or moving in same direction. Let us first understand the basic equation that can be used for solving these type of questions. Here there are two possible cases either two trains move in opposite direction or two trains move in the same direction. Let us look at the first point. When two trains of lengths L1 and L2 are running in opposite direction at speeds S1 and S2 respectively, then the equation which you are supposed to use is S1 plus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 by T, where T is the time taken to cross each other. Now, if you observe, this equation is in the form of speed equals to distance by time. We are taking the speed as S1 plus S2 because the two trains are running in opposite direction. And we very clearly know that whenever two bodies run in opposite direction, the relative speed has to be considered. And for opposite direction, the relative speed is sum of the speed. So that is the reason we are taking S1 plus S2. This distance to be traveled is nothing but sum of their lengths. That is L1 plus L2 divided by time. So this is the basic equation when two trains are running in opposite direction. That is S1 plus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 by T. Where S1, S2, L1 and L2 are the speeds and lengths of the first and the second trains respectively. And T is the time taken by the two trains to cross each other. So with the help of this equation, we can find out any one of these five variables when the remaining four variables are given to us. Similarly, let us now understand the equation to be used when the two trains are moving in same direction. Now here, when two trains of length L1 and L2 are running in same direction at the speeds S1 and S2 respectively, where S1 is greater than S2, then S1 minus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 by T is the equation to be used. And T here is nothing but the time taken by the faster train, which is running at the speed S1, to pass or overtake the slower train. So as you can see here, even this equation is in the form of speed equals to distance by time. That is the basic relationship between speed, distance and time. Here we are taking the speed as S1 minus S2 because the two trains are running in same direction. We know that whenever two bodies run in same direction, the relative speed should be considered, which is the difference of their speeds. And the distance to be covered by both the trains together is again L1 plus L2, which is same as the previous case. And t is the time taken by the faster train to overtake or to pass the slower train. So with the help of these two equations, we can solve the questions related to the two trains moving in opposite direction or same direction. As you can see here, in both the equations, we have got five variables, S1, S2, L1, L2 and t. Out of these five variables, any four will be given in the question. So we are simply supposed to substitute the values at the right places and find out the fifth one. Remember, before we do the calculation to find out the fifth variable, we are supposed to balance the units on both the sides. That is either completely in terms of kilometers per hour or in terms of meters per second. In some special cases, a moving train may have to cross a train which is stationary. So in that case, we can assume that the length of the moving train is L1 and the length of the stationary train is L2. Now the equation to be used there will also be any one of these two. Why? Because the speed of the second train is 0. So we simply can say that S1 plus 0 or S1 minus 0 should be equal to L1 plus L2 by T. So that's how depending on the speeds of the trains, we can substitute the values and get the answer. Let us now take an example based on the concept where we are supposed to solve questions related to two trains either moving in opposite direction or in the same direction. The question here is a 270 meter long train running at the speed of 120 kilometers per hour crosses another train running at the speed of 80 kilometers per hour in 9 seconds. What is the length of the other train? So as you can see here, the length of the first train is 270 meters and it is running at the speed of 120 kilometers per hour and it crosses another train running at the speed of 80 kilometers per hour in 9 seconds. So very clearly we know the speed of the first train that is 120 kmph speed of second train 80 kmph, the length of the first train is 270 meters and the time taken to cross is 9 seconds. We are supposed to find out the length of the other train. Now as we have already discussed, the equations to be used for solving these type of questions are S1 plus or minus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 by T. 
So the first case here is S1 plus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 by T. And the second case is S1 minus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 by T. So plus is used when the two trains run in opposite direction and minus is used when the two trains run in the same direction. So before we find out the answer, we first need to decide whether we have to use plus or minus. Now as you can see here in the question, nowhere it has been specified whether the two trains are running in opposite direction or in same direction. But one important point given in the question here is that the first train crosses another train in 9 seconds. Now the word crosses here plays an important role. Understand friends, crossing is possible only when the two trains are running in opposite direction. So instead of directly saying that the two trains are running in opposite direction, the question says they are crossing each other. So it is clear that the trains are running in opposite direction. So remember, whenever the word cross is used, we always take the equation of opposite direction. And for same direction, the wording may be overtake or pass. But because overtaking is possible only when the two bodies are running in same direction. Or in general, it can also be referred to as pass. So depending on these words, we need to decide whether the two trains are running in opposite direction or in same direction. Now here it is clear that the two trains are running in opposite direction. So we can say S1 plus S2 should be equal to L1 plus L2 by T. So let us now substitute the values and try to get the required answer. So the speed of the first train here is 120 kilometers per hour. And the speed of second train is 80. So 120 plus 80, this is in kilometers per hour should be equal to L1, the length of first train is 270 meters plus the length of second train is to be calculated. So let us take it as L2 itself and the time taken to cross the second train here is 9 seconds. Now as you can see here, 4 variables have been given and we are supposed to calculate the fifth one. But as mentioned always, we need to balance the units. Here on the left hand side we have kilometers per hour and on the right hand side we have meters and seconds. So before we do the calculation, we need to convert this into meters per second. So let us convert this speed of kilometers per hour into meters per second. So 120 plus 80, this is 200. 200 kilometers per hour can be converted into meters per second with the help of 5 by 18. So when you multiply this value with 5 by 18, it gets converted to meters per second. So now the speed here is in meters per second. And this is 270 plus L2 divided by 9. Even this side, we have got the units in meters and seconds. So the units have been balanced. And now we can go for the calculation here. So if we try to see here, 9 gets cancelled 2 times. 2 goes 100 times. And 100 into 5 is 500. So we can say 500 is equals to 270 plus L2. So very clearly from this, the length of the second train is 500 minus 270. That is equal to 230 meters. So friends, to solve these type of questions, we simply need to decide which of the two equations have to be used, substitute the values at the right places, balance the units and find out the required answer.